So we pulled over and then we called 911 we tried to help the people out, but it was, it was really bad. Our top story, 6.30, a violent crash in Antioch has left two teenagers dead and four others recovering tonight. The teens were just leaving a high school basketball game last night when their car slammed into a tree at Lone Tree Way in Indian Hill Drive. KPX 5's Dahl Lynn spoke with witnesses who were the first to arrive on the horrifying scene. Investigators believe excessive speed on the wet roadway caused this horrific crash. The impact caused a white SUV to wrap around a tree. Very big impact. Also, that windows of the house, they shake it. Happened last night on Lone Tree Way in Antioch. We pulled over and then we called 911. We tried to help the people out, but it was, it was really bad. Deer Valley High School student Dennis Gavrilenko tried, but he and other Good Samaritans couldn't do much because the bent metal trapped the teens in the SUV. Five people inside the car and then one girl, she was laying outside. Um, she wasn't wearing her seatbelt and she flew out the back window. Investigators say the girl ejected died at the scene. Friends identify her as 13-year-old J.L. Leitner. Firefighters cut open the SUV to free the teens inside. Antioch police say the 17-year-old female driver also died at the scene. Paramedics rushed the other four to nearby trauma centers, all suffering from moderate to life-threatening injuries. Police say a total of five girls and one boy from 13 to 17 years old. They just said that, why did this happen? The mom was sobbing. It was very sad to process it in my mind. Antioch police say the teens had just left a basketball game at nearby Deer Valley High School. That is heartbreaking. Yesterday, um, I couldn't sleep last night. We'll just mourn for their passing and pray for their family. The victims were middle and high school students. We're still working to identify the schools. In Antioch, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.